Sussex fanned flames of anger as Hatch new bid aiming to keep last little hope on Archwell battle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle launched their Archwell website on this day two years ago, October the 21st, 2020. In recent weeks, Archwell pledged to give $1 million to women in need and help build a playground in Uvalde, Texas, nearly five months after it became the site of the second deadliest school shooting in US history. However, Archwell and Harry and Meghan, by extension, have also been embroiled in a number of controversies since its inception. Harry and Meghan found themselves locked in a bitter trademark dispute two months after launching the Archwell website. Filipino businessman Victor Martin Soriano told he was willing to fight to the death out of principle after Cobblestone Lane LLC, representing the Sussexes, pursued legal action of over a trademark application for the term Archwell Haverata. Archwell Havatera was what Soriano hoped to call his brand of natural deodorants. The foundation is okay, but it's how she treats other people, he said. I think I should win because I'm a small guy from a poor small country about to be swallowed by a greedy monster. I must succeed in this fight. The Sussexes filed trademarks for Archwell in several jurisdictions, including the EU, UK and the US in April 2020. Soriano filed his in the Philippines in July 2020 and was met with a notice of opposition in November. However, he continued to file for more Archwell-related trademarks, including Archwell Cosmetics. That was approved without opposition, with Harry and Meghan appearing to give up the legal fight. Soriano then went on to advertise an anti-boarding oil with images of Harry's less-than-full scalp on Twitter. In January this year, Archwell told the IRS that it had raised less than $50,000 since opening a bank account in January 2001. That was less than the $55,000 that was reportedly spent on legal fees while dissolving their UK-based charity, Sussex Royal. UK companies' house filings showed the defunct British charity had more than 380000 in its accounts in 2020 and spent at least 55600 on attorneys, according to the Daily Mail. A spokesperson for Archwell insisted that no financial activity had taken place before 2021 and that the correct notice was filed to the IRS stating that there was no relevant activity in 2020. The world was horrified when Vladimir Putin sent tanks over the border into Ukraine on February 24th this year, and Harry and Meghan were no different, declaring, We stand with the people of Ukraine. A statement on the Archwell website read, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and all of us at Archwell stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same. As well as the meaning might have been, many ridiculed the statement as taking an extremely optimistic view of Archwell's ability to impact global events. If Harry and Meghan want to put out a statement as private citizens, I have no issues, but to use their formal titles in a political statement is wrong. I always thought the royal family doesn't comment on political matters. Things are getting messy for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and their deal with Netflix. Correspondent Christina Garibaldi noted the streaming giant's reluctance to edit the couple's docuseries despite Harry's demand for change. The host said that Netflix doesn't want to bow to the Duke of Sussex's calls for big changes to the documentary. Her co-host Christine Ross suggested that the Duke and Duchess are finding it difficult to tell a consistent story. She listed the number of projects the couple are juggling as well as the fact that Meghan keeps giving these magazine interviews. Miss Ross said that the Sussexes are likely to be wary of being fact-checked by royal watchers when the series is released on Netflix. 